Here is a problem that involves constant acceleration, so because of that I've already taken the time to write out the three equations of motion that we tend to use in physics problems for constant acceleration. For part A, or rather the first question of the problem, it asks what the acceleration is. So let's first go over the given variables. We're told that the car accelerates from 14 meters per second to 21 meters per second. So it starts at 14, which means that v naught, its initial velocity, is 14 meters per second. The velocity it ends up at, which I'll just use v, is 21 meters per second. And the time it takes, the time interval that all this happens over, is 6.0 seconds. I make my 6 a little more distinct. So those are the three variables we're given, and we want acceleration. So of course, as usual, when choosing the equation we're going to use, we want one that has all the variables we have, including the one we're trying to find. Now, all of them already have acceleration, but only one of them has time and both velocities, and it's this one right here, this first one. So this first one, v equals v naught plus a t, is what we're going to use first. So we're going to want to solve it for a. So the first thing we can do, this is just some algebra now, so um, we can first subtract v naught from both sides, which gives us v minus v naught equals a t. And then from here we can just divide both sides by t to find that a, the acceleration, is equal to v minus v naught, the final speed minus the initial speed, divided by t. Now all that's left for us to do here is plug our variables in, so as, as given up here. So v naught is 14 meters per second, t is 6.0 uh, seconds, yada yada yada. And when you plug this into your calculator, you find an acceleration of, and the answer you'll get is like 1.1666 1 and then infinite sixes, but uh, you can just round this to 1.6, or 1.2 meters per second squared. So that is the acceleration that the problem asks for. But then after that, the problem asks, uh, how, how far does the car actually travel? So now we're looking for a displacement, a distance. And what's nice about it is because now that we found acceleration, we now have four of the five possible variables that can be relevant in these equations. Which means that at this point, it doesn't matter what equation we use, as long as whatever equation we use has distance. So we can use either this second one, the one that starts out uh, right here, delta x, or we can use this third one at the bottom that doesn't even mention time at all. It really doesn't matter and is a matter of personal preference. I'll just go with the top one because why not? Which tells us that the distance traveled is going to be equal to the initial velocity times the time, both things given to us, plus one half times the acceleration, which we found in the last part, times the square of t, the square of 6 seconds. So when you plug this stuff into our calculator, you should find a distance traveled of about 105 meters. So that is the answer for both questions posed by the problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to have more of a dialogue about this, I have a Discord server linked down below. And I've got people in the, other, in the room across from me playing Dungeons and Dragons. You can probably hear the talking, the voice acting. So that's funny. But, uh, but that's all for this video. And I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye.